What's up everybody, I am Jaspreet Singh and welcome to Make It Happen Monday. I have some news for you. Amazon is going to fail. I've talked about the retail apocalypse and how Amazon has changed the world for retail and that has come with my fair share of comments from people like this saying that Amazon is too big of a powerhouse and nobody can compete with them. Well, sorry to break your heart, but Amazon will fail. I don't know when it's going to happen, I don't know what's going to cause it yet, but Amazon is going to fail. In 1893, Richard Sears had the idea to create a brand new department store called Sears. He started it with one store, he got a business partner, and over the years, that became the largest retailer in the world. In the 1900s, if you thought about competing with Sears, people would say that you lost your mind because competing with Sears would be like, competing with Amazon. Sears was a powerhouse, they were a monster, they were innovative, they were the biggest in the game, and on October 15th, 2018, Sears declared bankruptcy. Every single empire and dynasty in the world will come to an end, including Amazon's, by an entrepreneur who finds a way to give customers what they want with a better experience. And the difference between now and before with Sears is that now technology is changing and shifting faster than ever, which is causing this bigger need for innovation. And that means there's even more opportunity for entrepreneurs who know how to think different and then put in the work to make it happen. Right now, Amazon is king, but they're smart. They know that every young entrepreneur has a target on Amazon's back and they're coming after them and their share of the market. So they're doing whatever they can to innovate and stay ahead of the market curve. Amazon actually hinted at this on their last earnings call. So every public company has an earnings call every three months, which is where they talk about how their revenues were and what they did and what they're planning on doing in the future so investors can see if they want to invest in the company. And Amazon talked about this very thing. They know that new companies like Walmart and young entrepreneurs are coming on the internet and that's creating more competition for prices. And so Amazon does not want to be in the business of selling things and making a 15 cent profit off of a uh, green fern or whatever this is. That's why right now Amazon is changing their business model and they want to lose money. I have this Quartz article pulled up here that talks about how Amazon is spending way more money on one day shipping than they're making from it. So if I scroll down, they talk about how Amazon spent eight hundred million dollars to implement one day shipping to make it standard. But Amazon isn't making a profit off of this one day shipping. They're doing it because they know they need to do this if they want to stay competitive in the future. They even talked about how this one day shipping costs are making them miss their profit estimates. But the reason they're changing their business model is because they know that if they want to survive, they need to change their business model. And what they're doing now is instead of trying to make a profit off of the products on their website, they want to focus on making money from advertisements on their website. There are literally millions of people selling things on Amazon and they know that these people will want to sell their products and they'll be willing to buy advertisements to sell their products on Amazon and these advertisements that people buy on Amazon are way more profitable than a 20 cent profit off of a fern. Amazon could make $10 billion next year from the advertisements and that's almost 100% profit and they're making this business change right now which shows you how fast business models are changing. This isn't the 1950s where it takes decades and millions and millions and millions of dollars and only special people can make these business shakeups. We are in a new age and everybody has access to the internet and that means there's a lot more competition and a lot more opportunity for the entrepreneurs who are willing to think different and put in the work and are crazy enough to believe they can make it happen. Amazon will fail. An entrepreneur will eventually come around with a better business idea that will provide customers with more unique value. I mean, look at Axe Jeeves and Yahoo. Nobody uses them anymore. Google took out these things. So if you want to be a successful entrepreneur, you have to think different and learn and see and wonder how you can provide your customers with better value. And if you want to stay on top of what's happening in the finance and business world, well, we have a free finance and business newsletter where we first break down the top finance and business news and then we show you how the news affects your wallet this way you can be money smart again this newsletter is completely free and you can subscribe to our newsletter by clicking the link up here or by clicking the link in the description below so check it out and as always keep hustling